Hey, this is Pastor Charles from Bucksmont Baptist Church coming to you today with another story of my story. Today, I'm highlighting Billy Graham, one of the most famous evangelist preachers of all time, especially modern day era. Uh, Billy Graham had a, a tremendous legacy, still has a tremendous legacy, and uh, just a tremendous impact here in America. So I wanted to highlight Billy Graham today. You know, I hope you're encouraged uh, by his story. Billy Graham was born in 1918 in North Carolina, grew up on a dairy farm. Uh, his parents were very hardworking people. And uh, most importantly, they loved God. Uh, there was a, a deep love of God uh, for, for, um, that his parents had for Christ. And, and just to say, you know, I am uh, gathering this information about Billy Graham uh, from his website, uh, billygram.org.uk. Uh, from, so billygram.org.uk is where this information is coming from. So Billy Graham grew up on a dairy farm in North Carolina. His parents loved the Lord and um, uh, tried to uh, uh, instill that in Billy. Uh, they believed that the Bible was an inspired word of God. Uh, they, they prayed and, and they depended on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And you know, obviously in 1918 and going through that early part of Billy's life, it was some very challenging times. You had the Great Depression, uh, Spanish flu was around that time as well, and just a lot of challenges and difficulties that America and people encountered. Uh, but uh, his parents stayed faithful to the Lord, prayed to the Lord, and uh, uh, just um, uh, tried to serve the Lord. <clears throat> Uh, in 1934, there was a group of businessmen in Charlotte, North Carolina, who actually had an all-day prayer meeting at the Graham Farm. And uh, at that prayer meeting, they prayed fervently that somebody would be raised up out of Charlotte that would serve the Lord and preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. You know, so uh, it's funny that they went to the Graham Farm had that prayer and um, uh, that somebody would be raised up out of their area and, and just preach the gospel all over the earth. I think uh, that's something of great encouragement and, and uh, inspiration uh, to churches and pastors and Christians, right? We need to be praying that God will raise up leaders that will preach the gospel to the end of the earth, that will share who he is and what he's done with everyone, right? So 1934, that happened on the Graham farm, right? Uh, then uh, uh, that year, uh, Billy Graham gave his life to the Lord at a revival meeting that was led by a traveling evangelist named uh, Reverend Mordecai Ham. And uh, Billy Graham was 16 years old when he gave his life to the Lord. When he uh, was at the revival meeting, he recognized who he was, uh, somebody who was a sinner, who was separated and fall short from the greatness, the perfection, the glory of our Lord, and that we need our we need a Savior. We need Jesus Himself, God Himself, to uh, uh, be the sacrifice uh, for our sins. And so He accepted Jesus Christ as His Lord and Savior. He went on to enroll at the Florida Bible Institute, now uh, Trinity College. And began to lead prayer meetings and and um, uh, uh, other things in the community. He also began to preach at a local church and became an ordained minister with the Southern Baptist Convention. And if you don't know, Billy Graham went on to be uh, one of the most famous evangelists of all time, leading so many crusades throughout different cities, towns, areas um, in the United States and throughout the world, and had a tremendous impact. One other thing I want to mention about uh, Billy Graham and his work in the Crusades. You know, Christ transformed him. Obviously, he went um, uh, and fulfilled his call, first gave his life to the Lord, and Christ transformed him and used him in a great, great and mighty way. Uh, a little while back, I was talking to somebody who was part of a Billy Graham crusade in Philadelphia, and uh, he, he shed some light into what used to happen. You know, I think from the outside eyes, it often looked like these Billy Graham crusades would just happen. And, uh, you know, 
tens of thousands of people would show up. They'd make, put a date on the calendar, just tens of thousands of people would show up. But this person who participated in one of these crusades said it didn't work like that. A year to two years in advance, Billy Graham would send a team to an area and that team would gather several, several, many local churches and organize them. And local churches would make a commitment to um, uh, uh, do outreach and ministry and drive people, invite people, invite uh, non-Christians to these crusades well in advance. So churches would be mobilized and all working together towards the date of this crusade to bring as many people there as possible so that they could hear the gospel. So another thing I want to encourage you about the story of Billy Graham is that not only did he use his gifts and abilities um, for his calling in God, but he also worked with others, right? His team mobilized churches and in unity, the body of Christ, the local people who were doing ministry worked with Billy and his team so, so that um, the gospel will flourish, Christ will flourish. So, uh, you know, hearing the story of Billy Graham, Graham, I hope you're encouraged to one, if you're a Christian, invest in your kids, teach them about God, teach them about scripture and be faithful, be faithful in your own example. Um, if um, you're being called into ministry, I just want to encourage you uh, to, to follow that call. I also want to encourage um business people, right? People who are not vocational pastors or in ministry. Prayer is powerful. Pray for God to raise somebody up. Some people, you know, are senders and supporters. Not that they don't do ministry and, and, and talk about God and, and witness for God, but really they're senders and supporters, right? It, um, that's a big part of their ministry. And so pray. Pray that, well, God will raise up this next generation to have an impact, to have an impact, to, 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 to you know, revive, revitalize and revive faith in Jesus. So many people are being pulled away from the truth. They're being pulled away from the truth, right? They're being pulled away from God, led astray. Pray for God to raise up leaders in your town, from your town, in your city, from your city, in your state, from your state, I will go forth and share the gospel and reach people for Jesus and his kingdom. I hope you're encouraged by the story of Billy Graham, obviously uh, uh, such a heavyweight in the faith. I could talk in much more detail. I just want to share how he became a Christian, you know, at a revival when he was 16 years old because of the influence of his parents, because of the powerful prayer of so many. And you know the rest of the story. And if you don't, check it out. Uh, his website, www.billygram.org. Check it out. Go to YouTube. Listen to some of his sermons. Uh, powerful stuff. Powerful stuff. Thanks so much for watching.